In today's video, we're gonna take a really good look here at the Blue Yeti microphone, and we're gonna see how well this microphone performs with the Canon M50. Before we begin, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications so you can get notified for future videos. I'd love to have you back in the next one. Well, hey guys, Juan here. Thanks for stopping by my channel and checking out this video. So today we're going to dive into the Blue Yeti microphone. Now I've had this thing for a little while now. I'm just now uh, getting ready to put it to use because mainly I've been using microphones like the one that I got here on my shirt, which is a, a Rode Wireless Go, or I've been using some microphones that have been on the top of my camera, uh, like a shotgun mic. Um, but I, recently I was in a situation where I needed to use a microphone that was omnidirectional and I would pick up all uh, a bunch of people in a circle and so that's where this microphone comes into play uh, so I'm gonna do a little review video on this and show you guys how well it performs and um you know, see, dive into some of the specifics of the what's on the back of this thing and what it looks like. But this is a really cool looking microphone. Now they call it the Blue Yeti. Obviously, oh, it's not blue. And I about broke it just now. Tighten these things here so that way it doesn't turn on you loosely like that and you don't damage it like I almost just did. But they call it the Blue Yeti, and obviously it's not blue, this is black. I went with the black microphone. I thought it looked really nice. Um, it's kind of like a matte finish here, and it's just a cool looking microphone. And actually, it even looks good whenever I put it on my shelves as just kind of like a decoration whenever I'm not using it. But they do make these things in all different kinds of colors. They do make it in blue, um, but I have seen them in silver, I've seen them in red. Uh, usually the top up here will still be black. But uh, yeah, they come in different color variations, but this is the black one, black edition. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're going to look at what this thing sounds like, and I'm gonna show you guys what kind of cables you need in order to get this thing working. And I'll have links in the description down below where you can get the cables, where you can get this microphone. To get this thing powered on, you don't need a whole lot. You need pretty much two cables here, okay? So this is a standard 35 millimeter cable here, like the, the old headphone jacks used to be um, with a double layer or a double uh, loop there. But this is a, an Amazon Basics 35 millimeter cable. So we will go ahead and get this thing plugged in. So it plugs into the bottom right there, just like that. And then right here is a micro USB uh, connect. So we'll go ahead and plug that one in here. This is just a standard uh, Amazon micro USB cable also. Okay, so both cables are now plugged in. 35 millimeter, the micro USB. The micro USB portion here, which is like a standard USB connector, um, I'm gonna be plugging that in right into my MacBook Pro here. Uh, so you just plug it right into any computer that you have. And what that does is it gives it the power to go toward the microphone. Okay, so now I plugged that part into the my laptop. And as soon as I did, there was a red light that came on right here telling it that there is power going to this microphone. Now, one of the questions that I did have whenever I was looking into this microphone to see you know, what, how it works and what, uh, what you need to get it to, to start um, working and recording audio was could you use a like standard five watt iPhone plug or any of those square plugins to plug into the USB side of this thing and power it on without having a laptop? That's what I had a question on. And I even reached out to, to Blue Yeti on their website to find out the answer. They still have yet to get back with me. So anyways, I tried it out myself. Sometimes these things you gotta take into your own hands and, and test it out yourself. But it does not work doing that. You can't just take a, a, a five watt charger or like an iPad charger and power this thing on. For some reason, it does need a laptop, a working computer plugged into it in order to give it power. I don't know why, but that's what it needs. Okay, so then the other end here is the 35 millimeter cable. So this part here will go connect right into your camera. And we're gonna do that now. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect my Rode Wireless Go mic. I'm gonna show you guys the sound difference of what it would sound like. We're just going with the onboard microphone and then switch over to the Blue Yeti. So that way you guys can see difference in sound and see if, you know, is this thing worth it? Let's do that now. Okay, so this is the sound that's coming directly into my Canon M50. 
uh, DSLR mirrorless camera right now. This is all the sound coming directly on board on that. So we're going to go ahead and plug in the Blue Yeti so you can see the sound difference between the camera and the microphone. Okay, so now this is the sound of the Blue Yeti microphone that's being plugged directly into the camera. Um, I do suggest you get a little bit longer wire. I'm only like about a foot away from my camera and I have like the shortest stereo cable here that I can find. So if you do use this um, and you, you know, depending on your setup, you might want to get a little bit longer cable. But this is what this sounds like. This is the omnidirectional. So what it's doing is it's picking in, or it's picking up sound all the way around the microphone right now. So there are different settings on this microphone so that it can pick up like whatever's directly in front of it um, or whether if you're in a situation where you're interviewing and you have somebody on the other side, they have it so they can pick up sound here and pick up sound here. And we're going to do those different tests. But right now, this is what it sounds like. So hopefully, it sounds different than what it did with it was when it was just the onboard mic. And it also gives you a di uh, different sound test of what it sounded like when I had my Rode Wireless Go microphone. So this is the Blue Yeti. Hopefully, it sounds good. Okay, so now we're going to do a test. Um, right now, we're in omnidirectional. I'm going to flip it over to the very first setting that's on the switch here, which is a stereo setting. All right, so this is a stereo setting. This is what it sounds like to talk directly into stereo. Now, I'm going to take and flip it around so that the logo is in front of me. And this is what it sounds like like that. Because sometimes it may sound different if you're talking to the back of the mic or if you're talking to the front. This is talking to the front in stereo mode. Okay, now we're talking back into omnidirectional and I'm gonna go ahead and turn this microphone around so that way you can see that it is getting sound all the way around the microphone no matter you know what position it's in. This is the omnidirectional sound test. Okay, so now I just flipped it over to the cardio pattern. What this is, it's, a, it's the third setting on the back, is if you're talking directly into it, this is what it picks up. Now, take a look at the sound difference. Now, if I talk to the back of the microphone, and you'll see how it doesn't pick up the sound as good. So we're gonna go ahead and turn it now, talking to the side, and now it is directly behind it. This is what it sounds like to talk to the back of it. When you have a setting on the cardio pattern, which is supposed to be picking up on this side. I'll flip it back around. Okay, now we're back talking to the logo, the Blue Yeti logo there in the cardio pattern. So I think a lot of your maybe gamers uh, who are gaming, they would probably use this setting right here. So that way it picks up their voice, not maybe their game or whatever noise is coming behind there. Now we're gonna go ahead and flip it over to the last setting on here, which is kind of like the interview mode. Go ahead and flip it now. Okay, so this is the last setting on here. This is the interview type of setting. Uh, so if there's two people, you want to put this thing right on a table and you're having a conversation with somebody, it would pick up right directly in front here and it'll pick up the person directly behind the microphone here. So this is a pretty universal microphone that has all the different settings. There are a lot of different microphones out there that you can buy, um, and some of them just, you know, are a direct omnidirectional microphone, or some are set up to be um, like a shotgun mic that picks up directly in front of it. This one is pretty universal in the fact that it picks up all the way around, does all these different types of settings. Now, I'm gonna go back to the um, cardio pattern for just a second, because I think that's gonna be a popular setting that a lot of people would use. Okay, so we're back in the cardio setting here, talking directly into the logo, pretty much. Now, one thing you want to keep in mind is if you are a gamer and you are filming and gaming like this, a lot of people want to talk like on top of the microphone like that. You want to talk like this because the speed it's picking up like what's in front here, not really necessarily what's pointing up straight to the ceiling. So whenever you have it in this setting, you want to talk to it like that, maybe tilt it just a, a smidge. So that way if you're gaming or, or, or if you're doing a podcast or something like that, you're talking directly into it that way. Cardio pattern, third setting goes like that. It's directly in there. Omnidirectional is all the way around and we're gonna go ahead and flip it back to omnidirectional. Okay, we're back in omnidirectional. Now what we have here also is there's a mute button on the front of this. And when it's solid, like the light is now, it just tells you that there's power going to it. Now if I click that mute button, it'll start blinking, thus turning off the, the, the mute, or just muting the microphone completely, so which comes in really handy. Uh, maybe like if you have to sneeze or, or something like that, uh, you can mute it 
and it won't pick up that sound. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the button now so you guys can see it. Okay, so something else that is really cool about this microphone is there is a volume button right here on the front of it and you would hook in your headphones there so that way you can listen to what you're recording and the cool thing about this is it's kind of got a it's got a sound card that's built into the microphone for example if you are uh, gaming and you are you have sound coming in it'll you'll be able to hear the gaming sound and your voice so that way you're not like screaming or talking real loud uh, to try and get over the sound that's coming in so it, it does have a sound card that's built in there and therefore you can hear yourself and the game so that's a really unique feature with this particular microphone okay another great feature with this microphone is you can take this off of the stand that it's on now speaking of the stand this thing does have pretty good weight to it um, it's not gonna like knock over very easy because you see so it's pretty heavy it does have some good weight to it on the bottom of it it's rubber kind of feet that help hold it in place now on the back of this thing there is a knob that says gain now I'm not real familiar with you know the different types of settings or where you want to put it but um, from a lot of the videos that I watched whenever I went to go buy this thing I have it set on not really halfway but a little bit more halfway that seems to be like the, the golden area of where you should have this setting in to pick up the best type of audio so what you're hearing now is where that is adjusted or a little bit more than the halfway mark on the gain. Okay, so this is uh, the comprehensive review of this Blue Yeti microphone. Hopefully it helped you out in deciding whether you want to get this thing or not. Um, like I said, I'll have a link in the description down below of where you can get this and where you can get the cables needed in order to get this microphone working from opening up the box, plugging it in the camera, and recording some great audio with this camera. I think it's going to be um, a good camera for my video making toolbox, and uh, hopefully this video helped you in deciding whether you want this or not. Well, thanks for watching this video, guys. If you liked it, make sure you throw a thumbs up on this. Hit that subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications. I'd love to have you back in the next one. I make tech videos all the time and hopefully I'm inspiring you guys to be creative. I'll see you guys back in the next video.